Hello, thank you for joining me for the readings, actually just the gospel reading, from the first week of Advent in the Catholic liturgical calendar, and my commentary or reflection on that reading. The gospel reading is from Matthew. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a servant approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. Jesus said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I, too, am a man subject to authority with soldiers subject to me. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen, I say to you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I say to you, many will come from the east and the west and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> Our gospel reading today says that Jesus cured a servant of a soldier of the enemy, the enemy of the Jewish people. Jesus commends the centurion's faith that the word of Jesus will be enough to cure the servant. It was shocking to them as it is sometimes shocking to us that Jesus came to save everyone, including our enemies. Jesus says that those from the East and the West, by which he meant all of humanity, are invited to partake in the banquet of the kingdom of heaven with the children of Israel. We disagree in this world about what is wrong with our country and what is needed to make it better. What is the best way to do this? I know what it is, and we can all agree on it. Better schools might help. Better laws might help. Better institutions might help. Throughout world history, excellent laws and institutions and schools have been devised, and each time something goes wrong. Selfish and cruel people take charge, and often it becomes worse than it was before. As an example, look at Russia and China. What we really really need is better people. Any changes to our laws and institutions will have limited to no effect without better people. Collective improvement always requires the improvement of us individually. To be better people often requires our awareness of how much we fall short. We can follow the example of the centurion from our gospel reading who knew that he was unworthy and worked to treat others justly and compassionately. He sought to improve the lives of his servants. Luke's version of this event tells us that he had built the local synagogue. As commander of 100 men, as a centurion was, he had a job in which men became wealthy through cruelty and selfishness. Maybe that's how he became wealthy. <clears throat> but through his faith in God, he realized how unworthy he was, not by comparing himself to other centurions, but by striving to live up to the standards of the all-good and all-loving God. Maybe he tried to correct the unjust institutions of his day. Maybe not. But he did correct himself. Jesus admired the faith of the centurion. He said it was greater than any of the chosen people or the Gentiles of Israel. The centurion's faith then is our model. Like the centurion, May we have the humility to realize 
how unworthy we are in the presence of our Lord. May our just and compassionate actions preach the gospel of Jesus and be a model of faith for others. Amen.